Can we see your outfit on the live stream? Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> this is Jerry, and I did a big bow because I like big bows. Big bow. And I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and actually, for today, since we were just talking about different types of obi, so uh, the type of obi that I'm wearing with this is actually called a fukuro obi. So you would actually wear this type of obi with a far more formal garment than a yukata. You would wear it, you know, maybe not the same color, obviously, but... You would wear it with something more like what Tangerine Ant is wearing, as opposed to what I'm wearing. So I'm combining something really formal with something really kind of informal to kind of like even the sands between the two and to be a little bit fashion forward with it. So, you know, kimono, they're meant for playing. You can play with it. (laughs) And it's fun. Yay. Yay. (laughs) Thank you for joining us on the live stream. (laughs) Yay. Well, kimono means things to wear. It does. Yes. It's not. Sorry, I like to wear happen. this every day. Not this, but it depends on how much coffee I've had. I'll be real with you. <laughs> depends on how early I've gotten up and how much coffee I've had. If it's one of those days where I know I have a really super crazy day and haven't gotten a lot of sleep and I don't have a lot of coffee, I'll cheat and I'll come in and sweat. <laughs> but the, yeah, but there are other days. Can you where we do, do this yourself? Oh yeah, we when all you get ourselves dressed every day. Really? Mm-hmm. What's everything? Yeah, Hi, the trick. Yeah, she, she got her soul dress. The trick is is that you tie the bows in the front, and then you just kind of shimmy it around to the back so nobody knows. Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah, well, ho- no, hopefully not with dislocating the shoulders. That's why you're flexible. Feet still catching up with the sudden temperature change. Oh, yeah. So we've just grabbed the jackets and popped those on, you know, to keep working around in the warehouse. And, yeah. You know, it's a great little quick, easy comfort thing. Yeah. It works well. Yeah, I love it. I've worn powdery to the weddings. You know, yeah. A little bit more uh, formal black, typically, for the fabric, and those are usually yes, yeah, like more what my like this one. Here, yeah. um, and then with these ones, <laughs> so these that's are what you would wear family to a crests. Uh, this would be a more formal type of jacket that you could wear. So either in lieu of a suit coat, or if you were wearing more formal kimono, then this would be an appropriate jacket that you could pair with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And part of the way that you can tell is because of these little symbols on here. These are called kamon. These are actually family crests. So the more crests you have on a garment, the more formal it is. So this one has five crests. That's the most that you can have. So you have the two on the front, you have the two on the back of the sleeves, and then you have one right here in the middle of the back. And how, what is this? So this is the Watanabe clan. Um, so that's what that symbol stands for. This is pure silk that's been dyed, and then this had resist put on it in the dyeing process so that this part, you know, would show through for the pattern. Mm-hmm. Yay! I hope that was in frame. Yay! <laughs> We hope. <laughs> <laughs> cool beans. Yeah. We'll let you pass on through here.